in the world of technology, making sure that a website, application, or piece of software has as few problems as possible is very important. It can make or break a company. Think about it. If you're using Instagram or YouTube or TikTok, and every time you use it, it has problems or it crashes, as a customer, by default, I'm gonna stop using it. That means that platform will lose money because no customers, no transactions, no ads, no money. A way to catch these problems before real customers see it and experience it is for QA, software testers, to test it. And when they test it, and find problems, they create bug reports. Think of a bug report as simply documentation saying there's a problem that we must fix. We expected one thing and see another. Anytime we expect something and what we see doesn't match the expectations, that's a problem, that's a defect or a bug and we document it in a bug report. We're gonna talk about why bug reports are important and the key parts to every bug report. So normally, in the software development life cycle, we have our phases. First, we plan it out, have an outline. Our team says, okay, we're agreeing to these deadlines for these different deliverables. And then we have our UI or UX designers create visualizations of what the final product should look like. After that, our developers will write their fancy code to bring that original idea or concept to life. Then we have the testing phase where the QA and QE people make sure that the original requirements promised to customers is actually being met and they execute tests based on those requirements. Anytime a requirement states an expectation, they make sure that the expectation is being met. Anytime a test case is being carried out by a QA person and the expectation and what they actually see don't match. That's a problem, a bug, or a defect and it must be documented and communicated to the team members. This happens in a bug report. You create the bug report in a project management system or a test management system. That way, everybody on a team knows this problem exists and our team can prioritize it and then fix it adequately. Once developers fix this problem, they'll then give it back to us to test it again. If it works, perfect, we'll close our bug report, add extra documentation saying, okay, it's now fixed, and then our company will release a new version of the software with the fixes. Now let's talk about the importance of bug reports and the key parts of a bug report. Why are QA bug reports important? Clear communication. Bug reports give testers a way to explain what's wrong in a way that developers can understand quickly. This helps everyone stay on the same page and gets issues fixed faster. Prioritization. Not all bugs are created equal. Some are tiny annoyances, while others are major showstoppers. Bug reports help teams decide which bugs need fixing right away and which can wait their turn. Traceability. Bug reports are like a time machine for software problems. They keep a record of every issue encountered 
so nothing gets lost in the shuffle. Meet today's video sponsor, Careerist. Are you interested in starting your career in tech and getting a competitive salary? The key to doing this is investing in your skill set and professional development. It's great for beginners. Manual QA involves specializing in software testing, an essential role needed by all tech companies to ensure the quality of their products. This field offers a fantastic opportunity to enter tech without coding a college degree or a technical background needed. You get work-life balance and career growth opportunities and even an option in some companies to work remotely. With Careerist Online Bootcamp, you gain the necessary knowledge, practice, mentorship, and advice to become a tech specialist. You can also see Careerist that have made the job switch on their website. You can also see their track record and the awards they won for being an outstanding bootcamp. As a licensed education provider, Careerist offers an interactive manual QA course, which can be completed in 15 weeks with personalized guidance from experienced coaches. Over 1,000 graduates have already secured high paying jobs in tech across 40 different states with Careerist's help. So if you're interested in joining Careerist, and want to receive $600 off your price, enter discount code the test lead or click the first link in my description box below. Now back to the video. The key parts to bug reports. Now that you know why bug reports are so important, let's break down the key parts of a bug report. They may slightly differ depending on what tool you use to create your bug reports. By high level, these are the key concepts. Title or summary. The title or summary of a bug report serves as the initial point of reference for developers and stakeholders, offering a concise and descriptive overview of the nature of the bug. A well-crafted title should summarize the issue in one sentence. Somebody should be able to take a quick glance and see the high-level problem that you're reporting. Description. The description section provides a detailed narrative of the observed behavior, outlining the steps taken to reproduce the issue the expected outcome and the actual outcome observed during testing. You can also add any other helpful information that can be used to fix the problem. This is the meat of your bug report. This is where you give the information for details about the problem, the steps that you took to find a problem, and finally, your expected outcome, what you expected to see, and then the actual outcome. When you ran the test, what did you actually see? Environment. Information about the software environment in which the bug occurred is crucial for developers to accurately diagnose and resolve the issue. This includes details such as the operating system, browser version, device type, and any other relevant configurations or settings. It's important to list the environment that you found the problem in. Maybe you found the problem using a Windows machine, but you didn't list it. Now when a developer goes to investigate the problem, they happen to use a Mac OS. And they say, hey, I just tested it and don't see the problem. Or even better, let's say you found the problem using a Chrome browser. 
and you didn't list it. The developer checks it using Safari or Firefox and says, I can't find a problem. That's why it's important to specify the environment you found the problem in. That way they can narrow down the scope of their fixes and their investigation. Severity and priority. Assessing the severity and priority of a bug is essential for developers to prioritize their efforts and allocate resources effectively. Severity refers to the impact of the bug on the functionality of the software, ranging from critical issues that render an application unusable to minor inconveniences. Priority, on the other hand, determines the urgency with which the bug needs to be addressed, considering factors such as business impact and user experience. So normally, severity and priority go hand in hand. If it's high severity, it's high priority. Severity saying how many customers are being impacted and how impactful is this problem. Priority is, what level of importance do you prioritize fixing this problem? Like I said, normally hand in hand. If the problem is destroying a lot of functionality, normally it has a higher importance. But sometimes this problem that is causing chaos may only exist in a limited user base. Let's say on Instagram, the login functionality isn't working, which is huge, but it's not working only for iPhone 8s. Severity, that's a big problem, but priority, how many customers still use an iPhone 8? Might be 0.001%. So priority wise, that's lower priority. Like I said, normally, in the other cases, high priority, high severity. Attachments and screenshots. Visual aids such as screenshots, log files, or video recordings can provide invaluable context and evidence of the bug, aiding developers in understanding and reproducing the issue. You should always add an attachment whether it be a screenshot or screen recording or log files as for the evidence that the problem exists. If you have no hard evidence, then it's he said, she said. But if you have visual proof, you can't argue that. You can say, hey, I have a screenshot that shows this error message. Or I have a screen recording that shows I took step one, two, and three and got this problem. So try to always add an attachment as further evidence or your receipts about the problem. Assignee and owner. Assigning responsibility for addressing the bug ensures accountability and facilitates efficient collaboration between QA testers and developers. The assignee or owner of the bug is typically a developer or a team member tasked with investigating, diagnosing, and resolving the issue. It's important to know who's assigned to fix the problem. That way you can communicate the status and when it's time to test it again, they'll let you know. Status and resolution. Tracking. The status and resolution of bugs is essential for monitoring progress and ensuring timely resolution. The status of a bug reflects its current state within the development life cycle, such as open, in progress, or resolved. The statuses will differ from team to team, company to company, and high level at each status point the status should change. When it's first discovered or created, 
That's one status. And then, when a developer starts to fix it, another status. Once it's fixed, status changes again. Once you're testing it and confirming that it's actually fixed, cool. If it's actually fixed, you can close it. But if it's not fixed, if the problem still exists, you reopen it and reassign it back to that developer. Make sure that before you close it, it actually works. Don't take their word, visualize with your own eyes that it actually works. And even extra, provide a screenshot as an attachment for, okay, it definitely works now. Because if you overlook it and you push that bad code and that problem back to production, they're gonna say, hey Justin, I thought you tested this problem. So to cover yourself, make sure you always retest things before providing sign off. Now let's create a sample bug report. Remember, depending on your tool or software, it may look slightly different. So we're gonna create it on a blank sheet. That way it's simple and straightforward. And then you apply this information to whatever tool you're using to create and track your bug reports. Title and summary. The login button is not working. Description. When attempting to log in using the login button on the home page, users are redirected to an error page instead of being logged into their accounts. This issue occurs consistently across different browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and operating systems, Windows and Mac OS. Steps to reproduce. Navigate to the home page of the application, click the login button, enter valid credentials, and click login. Expected outcome. Users should be successfully logged in to their accounts and redirected to the dashboard page. Actual outcome. Users are redirected to an error page displaying the message login failed. Environment. Operating system. You have Windows 10, Mac OS. Browsers. Chrome version 98. Firefox version 97, Safari version 15. Device, desktop and laptop computers. Severity and priority. Major severity, high priority. Attachments or screenshots. Attach screenshot of the error page encountered after clicking the login button. Assignee. John Doe, status or resolution, currently open, awaiting investigation and resolution. So now you have a basic introduction to bug reports. You know what they are, why they're important, and the key parts to a bug report. If you're a software tester, one of the key parts of your job is to create these bug reports. So make sure you're as detailed as possible and take it seriously. If you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it below in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.